Okay, here you can see I've taken my grinder. Well, first off, what I did was I measured from this corner here all the way to this mark six inches. That's going to be for the spoke of my rotor. That's where this is going to actually mount to the spoke of the rotor. I marked it there, and then I took my grinder, and I grinded down really rough a uh, semi-sharp edge on here. I don't know if you can see here. Let me see if you can see the difference. You can see the uh, original size here, and then as we get right here, you can see how it's cut down uh, significantly to a sharper point. What I'll do is I'll get it down a little bit, a little bit tighter, a little bit sharper, and then I'll go ahead and take my orbital sander again. And uh, you can see all these groove marks here that are cut in by the uh, grinder. I'll go ahead and get my orbital sander and sand all that out, sand it smooth. On the inside of this, uh, my orbital sander will fit inside of there, but I don't like the marks that it's leaving, so I'm more than likely going to have to sand all this inside by hand. Um, let's see if I can get an end here. You can see here how the end is starting to give off the uh, aerofoil look, and uh, that will continue all the way down. Um, let's see. I don't think I have anything else right now, but uh, I'll go ahead and get this one done, get this one completed, and I'll use this one as my template for the rest. And uh, I will make these to match. But, uh, a couple of pointers I need to, or a couple of notes I need to make. Uh, Make sure that when you're sanding with PVC, you wear a proper ventilation uh, mask or uh, you have plenty of airflow because the stuff in PVC is pretty bad. And uh, if you breathe it into your lungs, uh, you know, <laughs> I can't tell you exactly what will happen, but uh, it's not going to be anything good. Also, um, when you're cutting these, you're going to be cutting them out with, uh, well, what I cut them out with, with a skill saw. I have a DeWalt little seven inch blade uh, skill saw and I cut that out with that and it's going to be rough so just remember that and you know once you start doing the working on it and get it uh, worked down to where you want then you know it'll it'll look a lot better also once you get all four or however many you're going to use once you get them all cut uh, look at them very carefully try to find the smallest one that you have I know that you know when you use patterns and everything sometimes one of them comes out a little bit smaller than the rest. Well, use that one to go off of because uh, it's better to use that one than uh, try to go and get a bigger one and make that your pattern and then that one that's small is going to be smaller than the rest of them. So uh, I don't know if that made sense, but it did to me. <laughs> anyway, so uh, I'll get finished with this one and I'll get back with you in a bit. All right, bye.